All right, Psycho Billy here. I am with Kurt Schroeder. Kurt, driver of the 15C. How you doing, Kurt? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for letting me into your place here doing uh, taxes today. Yep, no Appreciate problem. you coming on board as the exclusive accountant of the PBC Fans Tour. You do my personal taxes and also the business taxes. Yep. Yeah, so, glad pretty, to. Glad to help. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, what are your thoughts on them extending that deadline? When is that deadline? Uh, May 17th. May 17th. So, being a race car driver. I would have preferred them to keep it May 5th or April 15th. Cuts into another month of your racing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, you're, you're handling that okay? Yeah. Yep. We're getting stuff done, so. I was chatting to Tad, I covered uh, a tri-state race up in Norfolk, Nebraska there a couple weeks ago. And, you know, I think probably one of the reasons that he kind of dropped off the SLMR east side, you know, was because of that. Oh, okay. Just so tied up and everything. So Yeah, busy, busy, but just a few more days left, so. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, hey, uh, got a few things I'd like to talk about here. Let's talk about the SLMR. You're obviously... You know, a big fan. Uh, last year ran both the east and the west side. Uh, is that your plan again this year? Yep, that's the plan. Um, I'm smack dab right in the middle of both series, so it makes sense. Makes it easy for me to go either way. Um, so, and I like I like racing a lot, so it makes sense to go race both series. Plus, I think the SLMR series is a really good series for us in the region. Um, payout's good competition's really good rules are good it's just I, I just like that series a lot and they do good things with it yeah it seems like it's the best thing going you know for drivers here in iowa as well as nebraska yeah around here it's the best thing going yeah so how does that compare did you run full-time on the corn belt clash or just do a few races no when, i think when that was in existence i i ran pretty much all those races it's similar in aspects like um both series have multiple engine rules that incorporate different engine combinations, stuff like that. Um, SLMR, we travel quite a bit more. Um, corn Belt stuff was mainly here in Iowa. Maybe a couple races in Minnesota, but mainly here in Iowa. So, yep. Yeah, I think that's probably where I first met you, probably along that yeah, Corn Belt so. Clash Tour. So, yeah, cool, cool, cool. One other thing that I, I guess, I don't know if I was aware of it or not, but never really gave it much thought, but Iowa State Cyclones used to be a football player. Were you on Were you on scholarship? Let me zoom in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sporting the sporting the attire there. Um, yeah, I originally walked on and then got a scholarship for my last couple of years um, as a linebacker. So you know, it was fun. Got to go play in cool stadiums like Texas A&M, Nebraska, Texas, Oklahoma, any of the big 12 places. So tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, um, any 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 huge games where you leading I mean, tackler played, or anything crazy? I mean, I played in two bowl games, um, which was cool. One was down in Arizona, and one was in uh, Louisiana. Um, just playing in some of those stadiums were really cool. So Texas A&M Stadium stands out probably the coolest. It was just huge. So yeah. And weren't they in a bowl game here this past year? Yep. Played. I remember seeing some of your Facebook yep. posts. They beat Oregon in the Fiesta Bowl. And were you able to go down to that one? No, they didn't have fans. Otherwise, I would have been. Okay. I went I went and watched the Big 12 championship where they played Oklahoma, though. So that, that was down in Dallas at the Cowboys Stadium. Okay. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that place is pretty cool. Hey, maybe you know some inside information. Did, did these people from the Iowa State campus have anything to do with Chris Simpson being disqualified last week. And you know he sports uh, last year, last couple of years, he's been sporting the Iowa Hawkeyes stuff on his car. And then he comes into your backyard and he gets DQ'd. I can't comment on that. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to have a little fun with that. Uh, so, yeah, we're uh, you're kind of on the outskirts of Newton, Iowa. What yep. made you settle here? This is a beautiful A-frame house. Um, it was kind of by chance. Um, we lived in Ames. My wife's always wanted log cabin house uh looking for land found some land west of boone that we we're about ready to buy and build a house that was pretty much exactly like this and she actually found this one for sale we came and looked at it and it just made things easier than going through the building process like we have the house that was pretty much exactly what we we're going to build my shop out there that's pretty big um two ponds so it just it just kind of fell into our lap and really like it here moving right you didn't really have to 
do anything to yeah, suit your have, needs. I didn't have to go through all the hassle of building that some of my friends have gone through. So that makes it nice. So did you kind of grow up in this area then, like you were saying? or Nope. I grew up in eastern Iowa. Okay. Beach, over by Clinton, north of the Quad Cities. Just okay. Came out here for school, out to Ames, and then stayed around here. So. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, hey, I got to get rolling to uh, uh, big IMC race, the Dale de France Memorial yeah. this evening. So uh, uh, when I get around to posting this on YouTube. I got to say this. I really wish I could go to that tonight. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do here, especially with having to leave pretty early tomorrow to get to two races for SLMR this weekend. One tomorrow night's four and a half hours away from here, so I got to leave pretty early. But um, I really wish I could go because – Daryl's a good friend of mine. His dad was always really good to me when I'd run good at Des Moines or Webster City. He was always there to tell me congratulations and stuff like that. So it kind of sucks not being able to go there, but it is what it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably get this posted on the other side of the weekend, so the race will have already happened. But, uh, but yeah, it'll be my first uh, Dale de France Memorial. So They should have a good field of cars. They usually do. So Yeah, and a weeknight... Uh... Yeah, help matters not, out. Not conflicting with any other IMCA track points, so they should have a pretty decent field of cards. Hey, I got one more question for you. You know, being an Iowa native, uh, it just seems a lot of the, you know, major series like Lucas Oil and World of Outlaws are kind of, you know, not just moving to Iowa, but moving closer to the Midwest, whereas they used to ra maybe race further east than that. Let's let me mention some of these biggies, you know, going on here in Iowa and some of the ones coming up. Always had the Yankee Dirt Track Classic. The Knoxville Late Model Nationals, and then last week, World of Outlaws, a big two-day show at Boone. Um, coming up in July, World of Outlaws has a big three-day race in Davenport. And next year, this four-day race in Stewart, uh, 25000 to win each night for four nights, 100000 for grabs. What are your thoughts about all this stuff going on in Iowa? Uh, I think I think there's some good tracks here, um, you know, and... Some of these good tracks deserve, deserve some of these bigger shows and put on a good show for the fans. So I think I think people are seeing that. Um, I think the Flow Racing Show in Marshalltown in a couple weeks is going to draw in some big big guys because um, it's right before uh, Eastern Iowa Swing for Lucas Oil. So I, I would think some of those guys would come for that. Good point there. I forgot to mention that one. But I think that's going to be a really good show. Um, Davenport, you know, I think that's going to be a good show. That's a nice track. You know, Farley's Yankees always big. But, I mean, that's the Eastern Iowa show. And then Knoxville is Knoxville. I mean, <laughs> everyone wants – I mean, to me, everyone wants to go to Knoxville because it's such a cool place. So There aren't too many half miles where, the you know, the super late models can be competitive. Right. You know, Knoxville, Odor, just a handful of tracks. So right. pretty special place. Yep. Yeah, I was suddenly becoming a, a hotbed here, not just regionally but nationally. So. Yep. Yeah. No, that's good. Get to showcase some of the tracks around here. So. Pretty cool deal. Well, I'll let you get to work on my uh, tax preparation. Be sure to make sure I get tons and tons of money <laughs> to keep us rolling. I do what I can. Sometimes we have to, <laughs> sometimes we have to use those tax refunds to, you know, get to the next event or get yeah. to some of the fireboy races anyway. So. But uh, anyway, Kurt, hey, appreciate you giving me a few more minutes of your time to do this little interview. No, no problem. Happy to. Kurt Schroeder, CPA. Uh, thank you, Kurt.